A tangram is a Chinese puzzle consisting of seven flat shapes called tans, which are put together to form shapes or figures. Tangrams can also be used in geometry to teach geometric concepts. I'm going to show you how to make a tangram out of paper and make suggestions for ways you can use it in a geometry lesson. You can use a pattern such as the one shown or have students follow the, the following instructions for creating a tangram. We will be using a 6 by 6 inch square. Fold the square along a diagonal matching corners and edges very carefully. Cut along the crease. This forms two right triangles. Hold one of the right triangles so that the right angle is at the top. Fold in half from left to right matching corners and edges. Cut along the crease forming two right triangles. Here you might share with the students that dividing a geometric shape in half creates a line of symmetry and that the two triangles created are congruent. You might want to share with them the attributes of a right triangle in an isosceles triangle and that the triangles are similar because they have the same angle measures. Next, hold the other large triangle so that the right angle is at the top. Fold this top down so that it touches the bottom of the triangle at the midpoint of that side. Crease carefully and cut along the crease. This forms a middle-sized triangle. The remaining piece is a trapezoid. Fold it in half from left to right, matching corners and edges. Cut along the crease. This forms two smaller trapezoids. Share with the students that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Now take one of the smaller trapezoids and fold so that the long point touches the right angle adjacent to it. Crease carefully, making sure edges are even. Cut along the crease to form a square and a small triangle. Hold the second trapezoid so that it resembles a shoe. Fold the heel point to the laces point. Crease carefully and cut along the crease to form a parallelogram and another small triangle. Share with the students the attributes of a parallelogram that it has four sides, opposite sides, and opposite angles are equal. You now have seven tans that form a tangram. Have students use their tans to form a pentagon and a hexagon. And of course the students will want to make figures of their choice with the tans. Let them know that there are over 6,500 different tangram puzzles presently compiled and that the possible number of puzzles is infinite.